love risotto but hate the constant stirring? Well, me too. So I've made you a healthier baked risotto that's super comforting, creamy, and oh so cozy for a weeknight dinner. So let's run through the ingredients that you'll need for this really easy recipe. I've got one cup of aborio rice, one tablespoon of picked thyme leaves, three cloves of garlic, one cup of frozen peas, one lemon, one vegetable stock cube, one brown onion, half a cup of light ricotta, 60 grams of walnuts, 50 grams of finely grated Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, 500 grams of beautiful sliced mushrooms, and of course, 150 grams of beautiful, vibrant leafy greens to stir. You wanna to remember to preheat your oven first to 180 degrees fan force. You wanna finely dice your onion and crush those garlic cloves. So just make some vertical cuts. Then very carefully, just make a slice through the center and then cut in the opposite direction. Now the garlic, and I'm using three cloves because I absolutely love garlic. You can go more, you can go less, it's up to you. So that's all our chopping done. So let's move over to the stove and get cooking. So I'm gonna get this on a medium heat, then add in two tablespoons of olive oil. In with the onion, garlic, and the thyme. Just stir that constantly for about a minute or until it starts to caramelize. And I like to add lemon zest at the start of the cooking process because it's a little bit firmer and it can stand up to the heat. And then the juice right at the end so you still get a nice bright flavor. Now time to add the mushies and I have used pre-sliced mushrooms just to make this a little bit easier, cut down on chopping and prepping. <laughs> while I'm waiting for those mushies to cook down, it's a good time while the oven's preheated to pop the walnuts in to toast for five minutes so we get some extra flavor in the garnish at the end. Make sure you don't forget these though while you're stirring those mushrooms, put a timer on. Add a good amount of cracked black pepper here too. And just keep cooking them down until they really soften and they start to caramelize a little. There's no more liquid pooling in the bottom of the pan, so these are ready. Took about 10 minutes. So bring this over to the bench top now and we'll add the rest. I've got here some Parmesan and we're gonna add half now and save the rest to garnish at the end. And our little stock cube, pop that straight in then crush it with the back of the spoon. When making a risotto, you wanna opt for an aborio rice. So it's an Italian style short grain rice that becomes deliciously creamy as you cook it. Now give it a little stir to combine, then even it out on the bottom of the dish. Then we're going to add the water. And as a bit of a general rule, you need about three times the amount of water to rice. Now very carefully transfer this to the oven that's gonna cook uncovered now for about 40 minutes or until it's nice and cooked and al dente with the rice. Nothing left to do but wait. So it's been 40 minutes, so let's have a little peek and it's looking good. Let me show you. Check that out. So that rice looks perfectly cooked. So all that's left to do now is to add the ricotta and the peas. So dollop over that ricotta. Then sprinkle over the peas. Now it's off to the oven just for a further five minutes to warm through those peas. Ooh, this looks perfect. So let's bring it over and finish it off. Now I'm going to dress it with the juice of the zested lemon that we used before. Crumble over the toasted walnuts. I didn't forget them in the oven. And sprinkle over the remaining Parmesan. And make sure you serve it up with a good helping of those vibrant greens as well. This baked risotto is so easy, no fuss, no constant stirring, and it's nutritionally approved too. You and your family will love it to get cozy as the nights get cooler.